I mean, no issue with it. I think, I think in terms of like not going through your entire exam for you, what I would say is go back to your course material, understand, yeah. as I would in an audit, I play the auditor, not the standard. What is the auditor? What's their background? What's their approach? What do other people say about them? What feedback can I get? What kind of answers do they like to like to hear? Apply that to your training. Ask people like Ollie, when you've been through the course, what kind of things do they like? What do they like to ask? What kind of things do they want? Right. I've done uh, like CISSP and stuff like that back in the day. And even when token networks weren't a thing, we had questions on it and everybody's arguing with it. And we go, look, you want to pass the test. You answer the question. Right. I mean, just so you need to work yeah. out the mechanics of what it is that they're looking for and then give them that. And if it's in the workbook, great. And if it's not, ask your colleagues, ask wider, go on to community forums and try and find out. A challenge that you're going to have is um, a lot of the standards uh, are questioned in English, but the question poses it isn't their first language or it isn't their natural language. So you struggle sometimes with the interpretation, the grammar, uh, which can be confusing. So you've got to you've got to work it out and questions will come up time and time again. Right. They're like they just change the wording slightly. So you'll become familiar with it. Yeah. Can I ask another one?